Welcome back. Well, Craig is on the road this morning at the Shorehaven Golf Club in Norwalk, Connecticut, as he is hosting the second annual Bottoms Up Invitational Golf Tournament for a very special cause. And he's got his two besties out there with him. Mm -hmm. Hi, Craig. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Carson, Dylan, they're here as well. A lot of other good people uh, joined us to help raise money for the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. Uh, last time, my wife, Lindsay, and I, we hosted this event that included an auction as well. We joined the fight, as you all know, after my brother Lawrence died of colon cancer back in, in 2020. And we're going to tell you more about that in the uh, third hour. But Carson, this is his first one. Yes. And he brought the great weather. If you have a charity event and you put the words bottoms up on the invite, I show up. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you watching, just send it to me, Karen NBC. <laughs> no, after being at work and, you know, supporting it, it's great to show up for your friends, and uh, I'm so happy to be here. Well, thank you. We're going to play some golf, right? Rain or shine? Uh, rain or shine. I've been trying to give you, like, a better forecast uh, the whole time, but no, it's just getting worse. But, so, it, but the, the great thing about the rain is we'll have an excuse for our mediocre golf. Very true. Uh, more of that coming up. But right now, we've got more of our special series inside the game, bringing you a closer look in and around the NFL. The Steelers... I'm sorry. Uh, last night, they beat those Las Vegas Raiders at Allegiant Stadium. Uh, it was a road game for them, but there was plenty of triumphant twirling action from those famous terrible towels. Win or lose. For Steelers fans, that eye-catching piece of fabric, it's stitched into the franchise, part of the franchise's DNA. But it represents more than just fun. During the game, you can be sure fans all across Steelers Nation wave their terrible towels. The towels were the brainchild of Pittsburgh broadcaster Myron Cope. In 1975, Cope urged fans to wave yellow or gold dish towels at a playoff game. The Steelers won that game and went on to win the Super Bowl. So many fans came to believe that the terrible towel played a vital role in the team's success. Now, the towel is part of the identity of Pittsburgh. Fans have taken their towels around the world, even to space. The towels are actually made in Pittsburgh at Little Earth Productions. They've had the NFL license to make the official terrible towels for more than a decade. They make about 250,000 towels every season, a number that's sure to climb if the team makes the playoffs. Ava DeMarco is Little Earth's co-founder. Like when you're watching the game and you see tens of thousands like weaving around your towels, what do you think? It's, you know what, I never cease to be thrilled about it. In 1996, Myron Cope gifted the trademark for the terrible towel to the Meriki Allegheny Valley School, which serves people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Since then, the school has received more than $8 million from the sales of terrible towels and related products. And there are a lot of towel options. They cover all the holidays from Halloween to Thanksgiving, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, the 4th of July. Here in Pittsburgh, the devotion is year round. It's sort of like a cradle to grave thing. You see a lot of people buried with their towels and a lot of the hospitals have a stash on hand. We have a little baby sized towel and they put them on the babies. It's a wedding thing too for some couples, including newlyweds Aldo and Jenna Pomacini. The terrible towel. Yeah. Do you remember when you got your first terrible towel? This is from my grandmother. This is one of the original ones. This is a special one from yeah. December 2017. Oh, wow. Patriots game. We were just getting to know each other and dating. Yeah. And no towel left behind. Yeah. What do you think it is about these towels that are so magical for Steelers fans? Oh, I just think it's the energy that they bring. You just get so into the game, getting the defense alive, and you feel part of the team. The players feel it too. Hall of Famer Mel Blunt was on that 1975 championship team. What was it like that, that first game when you looked up and you saw the towels? We had never seen anything like it. It was like pouring gasoline on a fire, man. The terrible towel just, it was burnt and it just took off. Ryan Shazier was a player with the Steelers from 2014 to 2020. The energy in this stadium is crazy. It's very intimidating just seeing all these yellow towels, all the terrible towels twirling in the stadium, and it gets it gets this team boosted up and juiced up to ready to play. 
warming up the players and the fan base. This little yellow towel is the Steelers' not-so-secret weapon. How do you... You got to take the towel at the end and you twirl like that. Yeah, just like that. That's just it. Like that. Is that easy? Yeah. Is that easy? You see, we're getting the it's fans easy. all worked up. Is that easy? So, I mean, the, the terrible towel really is, is something special. Uh, my wife's family, Lindsay, they're from Pennsylvania. My father-in-law, he actually waved the terrible towel at our wedding. <laughs> oh, wow. Dur yeah, during, during his toast. That's yeah. <laughs> so the folks at Little Earth. It seems dangerous when you're, like, close to people. They were nice enough to make them for, the, like, for us with the Today Show logo. Yeah, we oh, yeah. like them. Very nice. So, Look at that. We're raising our we'll towels. We'll be using these to yeah. dry off. We'll That's right. You guys today. are going to need a lot of towels with that rain out there. But, yeah. Craig, you're so good-hearted. I know how much you're saying. What rain? rain. Yeah. What rain? What rain? Yeah. Okay, no rain? see? Exactly. So great. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Perfect weather. So glad you're We're going to have a Guinness and pretend we're in Ireland. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> by the way, by the way, guys, so I was out last night. I helped us sort of kick things off. $1.2 million. Way to go. Uh, right. For the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. Wow. Up from last thank year. Thank, thank all of you for, for your support. Wow. So, Janelle was there, too. Yeah, it was, a, a, it was a beautiful event. Way to go, Craig Orr. Thank, thank you, Craig. Craig. That's right. All right. Go wow. get them. Have fun, y'all. We'll thank see you. you again in the third hour. We'll see you next hour. Okay. All right. Can't even twirl it. Now. Bye, guys. Get first, guys. <laughs> Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.